Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from 1 John 5, 14 and 15. And it reads, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us, and if we know that he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have what we asked of him i repeat this is the confidence we have in approaching god that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us and if we know what we know that he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have what we asked of him now i want to divide the scripture into four parts the first part says this is the confidence we have in approaching god now the key words here are confidence and approaching god our first and foremost we want to find out what do we understand by confidence confidence speaks about having total and complete reliance on somebody total and complete complete trust in something um, it could be individual, it could be our colleagues at work, it could be your friends and family. But ultimately, having confidence in God is the ultimate and is the final. Then the second bit says approaching God. Approaching God speaks about um, coming into his presence. Um, the Bible says coming to his presence with thanksgiving. The Bible, um, that is um, Psalm 95 verse Two. Then he says, yeah, come into his presence with thanksgiving. So we're approaching God with thanksgiving. We're approaching God with um, a subtle and a contrite heart. We're approaching God with a hum with humility and a humble heart. And when we approach God in this manner, God accepts our spirit. God accepts our supplication. God looks at us as one who he's obliged to answer our prayers. The second bit is that if we ask anything according to his will, the key words here is asking, and second bit is according to his will. Now, what do we understand by ask anything according to his will? When we ask according to his will of God, that means we ask within the confines of our destiny. Everybody has a will, everybody has a will written over his head. Everybody has a will, which is his destination. Before his destination, that's before destiny. Every Everyone was predestined to lead the will of God on the face of, God, of the earth. The will of God is a, is a, is a um, roadmap, a summarized roadmap on your journey, on how you achieve, how you be able to fulfill your endeavors in Christ, how you'll be able to fulfill your mission on the face of the earth so that ultimately you can beat your chest and go like, I have fulfilled the work of God. I have fulfilled what I was called to do on the face of this earth before you depart. Then the third one says, he hears us. So here it was, um, it's, a, it's a connecting um um, verse it speaks about asking according to the will of God now when we ask according to the will of God God hears us because the will of God is what he has written and preordained for you to live now the Bible says in first Thessalonians 5 18 it says in all things give thanks in all things give thanks now this is um this, this is the um, the the will of God for our life. So when we give thanks in all things, that is living in the will of God. Then Isaiah ninety five verse two says, "Come into His pray in His presence with praise and thanks giving." Now the psalmist understood that that was the will of God. That is why he put it in his in his psalms. Then the third verse says, and if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have 
what we have asked of him. So the will of God is really powerful. The will of God is really a place that we should strive to be in. The will of God is something that we, we ought to, to follow after. The will of God is something that we ought to sort after, that we may be domiciled in the will. Domiciled in the will in the sense that we lead in the will. That means we are led by the Spirit of God. We are led by the will of God for our life. We are led by all He asks us to do on the face of the earth that ultimately we may be able to accomplish, that we may be able to reach the end goal of what He has called us to do. I want to pray that God is able to expand our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge on this word, that God will continually give us the confidence to be able to approach him with praise and thanksgiving, that God ultimately will give us um, a heart and a grace to continue to lead our lives in his perfect will. All this I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless. God bless in Jesus' name. Amen.